When I woke up, my doctor, uh, Michael Phillips, came in. He goes, you're a miracle. And he said, you are a one percenter. And he said, now that you've got this, this second chance in life, what are you going to do with it? I went, I don't know. I just woke up. But what I am going to do, because I love the hospital, I'm going to volunteer when I'm able to volunteer. I started into uh, cardiac rehab, which has been extremely helpful. And then I started volunteering about four weeks ago. This is my flower. My friend Keith Mason, who is uh, CEO of Bailey Medical Center, challenged me to come in and have a CT scan. They found that I had some blockage and what is called the LAD, the, the, the funny name for it is the Widowmaker because people don't know that that's blocked and they just die. And they found that, in, uh, that I only had a 50% blockage. Knock, knock. My cardiologist, uh, Frank Gaffney, Dr. Frank Gaffney, he uh, was very frank with me. He said, I don't need to put a stent in. Um, you can beat this thing by uh, working out five to six days a week, change your, your diet to a heart healthy diet. At the time, my cholesterol was high. Then one day I, after I worked out, I came home, my wife was out of town, and uh, this was in February, and I felt like I was doing some work at the, ta at the kitchen table, and I felt like somebody was trying to choke me. About that time, my wife called me. She said, I'm not feeling very well. And she goes, well, I'm calling 911. I'm in the ambulance. And they told me that they were taking me to St. John. And I said, no, you're not. You're taking me to Hillcrest because I want to get into Oklahoma Heart Institute. There was Michael Phillips, Dr. Michael Phillips and his staff. Your aorta has an aneurysm. And you need to get in the operating room like right now. And I said, what are my chances? And he said, 50-50. Well, I like to go to Vegas every once in a while. Those are pretty good odds. So I said, that's, that's okay with me. And I said, but I've been working out for the last year. And he goes, okay, 60-40. So they jumped right in and they gave me, put a new valve in me, a titanium ceramic valve. When they brought my cough buddy in, my wife and I started laughing. It's like, oh man, <laughs> you get to use your own cough buddy. I sell a lot of the marketing material and uh, some of the, a lot of the signings that's in the hospital. Interesting thing to me about all of this is I had no symptoms. I printed all the signage for the Changing Lives and so I got to read every one of those, you know, 20 or so people. I can identify with Changing Lives. Now that I go back to the floor that I was on the fifth floor, um, it's like every day is old home week. What is your answer for? Hello. Hi. How are you? Because they know what I went through and they know it's, they know how fast I've, I've recovered. The reason that I'm volunteering was because of the staff. Okay, let's go to 16. They were just so friendly and nice and accommodating. My job as a volunteer is to go to the, to the nurse in charge and ask her for the new admissions. I always check in in room number 519 because that's where I spent 28 days. And walk in and go, I just want you to know that you're in the luckiest room in the hospital. <laughs> knock, knock. I am G and the volunteer. When you have open heart surgery, you have to be very careful because you've been, you know, you've been opened up and you're still healing. I really loved working out. And, uh, and it's like, I want to get back to where I was with that. And it's just that I'm building my muscles back. And that's what I love about cardiac rehab. Very helpful fun to be with. They challenge you. Um, uh, you're, you're constantly, I like it because you're constantly being monitored, your heart's being monitored, and um, you just almost become a family. You're in a great place. The best. The color looks good. <laughs> All right, bye. I'm there. I'm the real deal. I mean, uh, I tell people it's like, if you ever have any chest pain, go straight to OHI. Changing lives, this hospital gave me my life back.